Guys, if you ask me what the hardest video was to make on this channel in the three years I've been doing it, it is to make a video about a chair. So let's do it a second time. All right, so jokes aside, what do you say about a chair? It holds your butt up and uh, keeps you comfortable. What else do you want from a chair? Ewin chairs are doing that for me. This is the second chair I've gotten from the company. I appreciate you guys sponsoring the video and sending me this chair to check out. I did one about a year ago with one from their calling series. This one is from the champion series. Um, I've enjoyed both of them. I've had this chair for, I guess, about a month and a half. I uh, had the other chair for, again, about a year. Use it every day that I was home. Um, perfectly comfortable and very well built. Very sturdy. Uh, very heavy chairs. Believe me, I've taken one upstairs now and it was not an enjoyable process. Uh, but putting together is very simple. Again, just kind of heavy parts. Uh, comes in a very large box. But overall, a great chair and very comfortable and very capable of doing what we do. So if you're a follower of this channel, again, you're probably a flight sim guy. You've probably got a lot of uh, flight sim gear in front of you, hardware. I've had no problems. I've got a throttle. I've got a collective here. I've got screens. I've got a slide out keyboard. I've got the joystick that comes out. I've got all these things. I've never had a problem with the chair being in the way. The armrests move. They'll slide in and out, up and down, left and right. Um, so I've never had an issue with that. So the chair will recline really far forward and it will slide all the way back so that you're essentially laying down, which is great for someone like me who has no idea what they're going to make a video about and has to kind of sit around and think about it. Now in this community of flight sim enthusiasts, uh, a lot of people like to get these chairs that are sort of purpose built for a cockpit. This is not one of those chairs, so if that's something you're looking into, uh, I probably wouldn't recommend this one. However, if you're someone like me who's creating content, who's working on his computer, who's filing his taxes, who's working on hobby stuff I got behind me, who's doing kind of all the things that you're going to do at a computer, no problem with this chair. It is essentially an office chair. Uh, it's very comfortable. So the one thing I liked about this chair and the last one too is they're very firm. Firm. Uh, and it's something with the last chair. I didn't see any problems with over time. It became, you know, loose or, or baggy or anything like that. It just, just it's, it's held up to uh, my big butt sitting in it for the past year. And this one seems to be no difference. Now it comes with two pillows. It's got a lumbar support pillow and the headrest pillow you can see behind me. Now the lumbar pillow is loose. It is not attached to the chair. It's one thing that I would maybe change, but at the same time with the last chair, it was strapped on, but sometimes the straps would just get loose and would kind of fall down. So. Having it loose is fine. You can just kind of put it wherever you need it uh, when you jump in the chair. Now these chairs are shipped from the United States. Uh, I think it took just a couple of days for mine to get here. Now it does come with a 10 year warranty and a five year warranty on the frame. It is designed for people ranging from five foot three all the way up to six foot five. I'm six foot four. I've had zero problem with it. Again, I can lay down completely in the thing. It doesn't tip over. I've never had any stability issues uh, with the chair whatsoever. It is rated up to 400 pounds and it's pretty light on the wheels. It comes with five hubless caster wheels. Uh, one thing I did make a change to is I went on Amazon and I'll try to remember to put the link down below. Uh, but I went over to Amazon and I found these uh, caster wheels that have locks on them. Because if you're anything like me, again, you're playing with uh, flight sim gear, you've got pedals, you end up pushing yourself back away from your computer while you're using your pedals. I imagine guys who are playing racing games as well. So maybe one thing I would recommend to is look at uh, maybe replacing the wheels uh, with uh, these wheels that come with locks. I think I got them on Amazon for about 20 bucks for a set of five. Uh, and generally, I just use probably two of them, you know, whatever I can reach at the time. Uh, and it keeps the chair perfectly uh, stable while I'm playing. So I'll put a link down in the show notes. You guys can head over to the website, take a look, see if it's something you like. You can use the promo code CASMO30, save yourself 25% off. Now, I don't get any kickback from that, so I don't want anyone to think that I'm just telling you this to try to sell you a chair. Uh, I get nothing from that other than this chair that I get to sit in right now and kind of show off. Uh, but I really do like the product. Uh, again, this is the second product I've had from the company. I've had no complaints with either one. So if you're interested and you're in the market of looking for a chair, uh, go ahead and take a look at them. Use that promo code. Save yourself a few dollars. Uh, if you do have one of these chairs and you enjoy it, put it down in the comments. If you don't, if you had a problem with it, put it down in the comments as well. Let people know. And uh, again, a big thanks to Ewin Racing for letting me have this chair and show it off. And uh, I am a supporter of the product and I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully it helps. We'll see you next time. Take it easy.